So the shit hit the fan today on X uh, in regards to the doctor disrespect thing that happened over the weekend where basically the allegations of why he got banned four years ago on Twitch. Now, like I said on a couple of videos ago, maybe last video, I, I'm really... I really don't know. <laughs> it was maybe last video. There was a feature on Twitch called Whisper. It was basically DMs where allegedly Dr. Disrespect, and actually this is confirmed, and I'll show you in a moment, uh, had a spicy conversation that leaned towards spicy. It wasn't full-on spicy because we don't know the fucking logs. We haven't seen that shit, and that shit needs to be produced. Um, where he was talking about stuff with a minor. We don't know how old this person was. All it says was a minor. Well, Dr. Disrespect today came out. Uh, this is from the man himself. Um, this was this was a doozy. Now, this actual statement got edited in real time quite a few times, but I want to just show you the most important part that you need to pay attention to. Now, this is it right here, and it's basically, I'll read it out here, where are their Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were the real intent were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These are were ca casual mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute, which Twitch and that case was resolved uh, by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me or no criminal charges have ever been made brought against me. Now, so basically right there, he actually confirms that there was conversations that leaned towards inappropriate towards a minor. Um, that does not help his case, right? Uh, and I still say, I do want to see these fucking logs. Uh, good, good reasoning for is we want to know what was said. Because um, right now, basically, Dr. Disrespect is going into damage control. Um, and he's only doing this to himself, especially with the edits he was making at the time. He is playing the tough guy. Um, near the end of it, and I'll go ahead and read that off right here. Uh, finally, if you're uncomfortable with the entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine, but I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on screen, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. Now, he's playing tough guys. I, I, I have a bad feeling... Um, there was some infidelity um, with Dr. Stewart disrespect in his family. Um, I don't know how many times it happened, but at least one where he did come back and he did apologize to his, I think his family on stream, which is, you know, fucked up. You don't just leave your family just because you're famous and some side chick walk up to you and say, hey, let me uh, get some Dr. Disrespect. You don't fucking do that shit. Um, be a fucking man. Don't do that. Don't be a fucking asshole. Um, but this, like I said, this doesn't seem like it's going to help. Like he's already losing sponsors. He's lost sponsorship with Turtle Beach. He also lost a position at his own company co-founded called Midnight Society, which I'll show you that right now. This is actually from, uh, Robert Bowling, who is co-founder of, uh, Midnight Society, which was a game studio right here is his statement in regards to why they let Dr. Disrespect go. This is a statement for me personally. It does not reflect any of my companies and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, period. I promise to act on facts, and I did. I think that's a really good statement. I think that kind of clears the record of what they found because uh, there was a lot of questions of why they immediately went to that conclusion. Uh, and like I said in the previous video, it's like there has been cases where companies that are associated with a high pressure situation, especially with an individual, sometimes they want to distance themselves away from that individual until maybe the heat goes off of them. Um, that's, that's just being good business savvy. I think that's perfectly fine. Um, it does suck. I, at first, I did say, oh, well, you know, that is bad. Maybe we should get more evidence. But it does look like Robert Bowling 
and the Midnight Society saw some things that was pretty fucking damning. Um, so I, I'm not really going to say that Robert, Robert Bowling's a bad guy. I think that was, um, I think that was a good thing he did. I think he was watching out for the best of his business. The only problem I'm thinking at this point is if more of this shit comes out, what damage will it do to Midnight Society and the game that Doc was working on with them? Um, I don't think it's going to be any, I don't think it's going to be good. Honestly, they might shelve it. Maybe. I hope that studio doesn't close. Maybe they'll rebrand. I don't know. Um, it's all pretty, it's all pretty bad. It's all really bad, actually. Uh, there was some rumors that there might be some more stuff coming out. And there has been um, statements from other streamers, such as Ninja and a few others. A lot of other big YouTubers, Mudahar, uh, the act man are still doing the same thing I'm doing is, Hey, I want to see everything now. I don't think that's, I don't think that's unfair. I don't think that's unfair to ask for more evidence. Cause like I said, even with that statement, we still don't have the smoking gun, even though he admits to it, we still need to see those fucking logs. Um, and my only question is, Hey, Twitch, you let this guy go. You knew this for four years. You let him go. YouTube allowed him to stream. They didn't give him a partnership that I know of. I don't think there was ever a contract signed with YouTube. I could be wrong. Please let me know in the comments. But this guy, if he is a pedophile, why the fuck was he uh, able to stream after the fact? What was the settlement over? What, what happened with that settlement? What else are you guys fucking hiding? Because if you're willing to hide this... It's hard to tell what else you're hiding. You already have a pretty fucking deplorable platform at this point. Uh, a lot of miners get on all the time to watch your titty streams, all the Twitch thoughts. Um, and that's that's sad to say because it's true. I mean, there's some adult content on Twitch right now that some miner can go over there and watch. And these girls or these dudes with their shirts off can interact with these miners. This is actually going to be bad for Twitch or any streaming service that may have platformed Dr. Disrespect if we get these logs, if we can see more of it. Um, like I said, I'm going to give, it, give him the benefit of the doubt, even though he did admit to that. I want to see if he's lying. And I said, he said it did lean on inappropriate. I just want to see how inappropriate it was. And I also want to see if there was more than just that one victim. Um, cause as of right now, like I'm looking at Dr. Disrespect, it's like he's actually, you know, done pretty good as a content creator. I think he's probably one of the best, but you know, with his history of infidelity and now this and other things like he, he did have like different opinions on like the LGBTQ community, um, and a few other things with the cancel culture community and keyboard warriors, SJWs and stuff like that. And he didn't really quite follow the message that's uh, approved by everyone on uh, social media, it seems, especially the TikTok uh, X crowd. Well, some of them. Um, and people wanted him gone. People wanted him gone. Same with Nick Merckx. Now, I do want to know what Nick Merckx says about this because these two were buddies, maybe even Tim the Tapman. I want to see if these guys distance themselves away from Dr. Disrespect. At this point, I don't think there's any repairing this. Say the logs come out. Let's say these logs came out and it paints this in an even more disturbing light. Uh, maybe there's even more people. The damage is fucking done at this point. The career's over. Even also if it comes back and what he was saying that it leaned towards that but wasn't full on. The fact is you still talk to a minor that was, you know, Spicy shit was talked about. I don't know how spicy it was. I want to see this shit. I want to know. I really want to know. Because I tried, I stream sometimes on Twitch. I don't want to be associated with um, somebody pushing, like, pedophilia. I don't want to fucking do that. I don't. I don't. Um, and like I said, this is not me right now taking up for the doc. But this is me saying, hey, I want to see more. Uh, the more evidence that comes out, it's only going to be better. Um... But like I said, there's a lot of uh, YouTubers and everything um, 
and I think, yeah, I think it finally needs to come out. I think we need to see more, and I'll keep covering it. We'll keep covering it as more information comes out. But if you want to, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, if I got something wrong, please let me know. Uh, share on Twitch, you know, not Twitch, Twitter. X, motherfucker, I always still call it uh, Twitter for some reason. But, um, yeah, this shit's bad, man. This looks really bad, and hopefully we can figure something out with this. All right, guys, bye.